Hello, receiving students, teachers, and sixes. Thank you. You may be seated. Right. Recapping on our previous lesson. Recapping on our previous lesson. Our recap. I would like you to name me a non-flowering plant and one of its use. Receiving students, you may also tell your teacher. Rodney. Mushroom. Again? Mushroom. Mushroom. Okay, mushroom is a non-flowering plant. One of its uses? Mushroom is no poison, they eat. Right, very good. Some mushrooms which are non-poisonous are eaten. You can eat some non-poisonous mushrooms. Good, receiving students, I hope you had a similar answer to your teacher. Um, another one, Christine. Brown seaweed, it's, sometimes they used to eat it. Right, brown seaweed. Seaweeds, are they flowering plants? No, no they're not flowering plants. Of course, some people, they do eat uh, seaweed. Okay, receiving students, I hope you uh, also told your teacher. Very good. Now, teachers, we... Our unit is still on structure and functions of living things, strand living things, and substrand nature of living things. Um, the learning outcome, 6.2.1. Okay, class and receiving students, our topic for today. Today, our topic is on the importance of plans. Now receiving teachers and students, this is lesson number 16. Right, importance of plans. Receiving students and class, I would like you to take a look at this picture that is shown on the screen. Take a very good look at that picture. Okay, that setting is quite familiar. Can anybody tell me where you can find that picture? Receiving students? Of course, tell your teacher. Anybody? Oa. Where do you think you can see that picture or that environment? Village garden. At village garden. A village garden, good. Okay, probably it's a village garden, a village garden. Now, good, this is what I want you to do. Now, class and receiving students, take out your books. Okay, I hope you got down today's topic as well. That's the importance of plants. Some of you are still looking at the picture on the screen. All right, good. Now I would like you to answer the following questions. Right, question number one. Name the plants that you think are important in the picture. Name the plants that you think are important in the picture. Now here is the picture, okay.
take a good look at that picture and try to name the plant or plants you think is or are important in that picture. All right, receiving students, you may tell your teacher, class, uh, we are going to hear from some people of the important plants that are in the picture, or the plants that which are in the picture, which they think is important. Now, let's hear from Onea. Onea, what do you think is an important plant in that picture, or plants? Popo. Again? Popo. Onea thinks it's popo. Right, what else? Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Coconut tree. Coconut tree. Right, we have popo. and coconut tree. Popo and coconut tree. Minol. Banana. Again? Banana. Banana. OK, he thinks it's banana. Very good, and there are also some more plants which are also in that picture. Right, now I would like you to do number two. After you have listed those plants, you are going to now go on to the next one. Right, describe how other animals use the plant you describe how other animals use the plants. Because the plants in the picture. Describe how other animals use the plants. These plants. class and receiving students, you describe how other animals, apart from human beings, use those plants in the picture that you can see on screen right now. Not only humans use those plants there on the screen, there are also other animals that use that also. Other animals also use the plants on screen there in the garden. How can they make 
Peace of death. Right, uh, receiving students in class, there are lots of animals that can also use the plants shown on the screen. You list that down. All right, all right, class and receiving students. By now, you should have listed at least one or two things which the animals use. Um, receiving students, you can tell your teacher who, who's going to list them down on the board for you. Uh, let's see, uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth will tell us what. or how other animals use the picture. Cascas eat banana. Again? Cascas eat banana. The cascas eats the banana. Okay, so cascas eats banana. Thank you, Caro. Casca seeds banana. Flying fox is the popo as food. Flying fox eats the popo as fruits. So flying fox. Eats the popo. as food. Very good. Flying fox eats the popo as food. Vanessa. Vanessa. Birds make their nest on a coconut tree. Again. Birds make their nest on a coconut tree. Birds nest on the coconut tree. Birds build their nest. Nest or what can we say? Receiving students, class, okay, good. Shelter. They use it as shelter. Pen, pen. Okay, flying fox eats the, of course, popo and as Ken says, 
banana also. And banana. Popo and banana. Right, very good. Those are some of the ways in which the animals use them. Any more other ways in which the animals use them? Very good. There are lots and lots of other ways in which animals can use the plants that you see in the picture for other purposes such as, as we looked at, mainly food and shelter. Most of those ones are food and shelter up there. Okay, receiving students and class, get ready for your third question. You all ready? Okay, here we go. Number three. Why are plants very important? Why are plants very important? <coughs> Class and the receiving students, why do you think plants are very important? You write that in your own words. Good, write it down in your books. Why are plants very important? I will give you one minute to do that. All right, class and receiving students. By now, you should have at least answered the question there. Okay, let's hear from two of our friends here in the model class. First of all, we'll hear from uh, Imelda. Because plants provide oxygen and food for human beings and animals. Okay, because plants provide food and oxygen for animals. Joe, receiving students, I hope you got a similar answer. Very good. Now let's hear from Joe.
because they provide oxygen for human beings and animals. Okay, because they provide oxygen, provide oxygen for human beings and animals. All right, receiving students and class. From the two picture, we can see that plants mainly provide food and oxygen for animals. Right, I would like you to see this uh, picture. Let us see the next picture. That is one of the things that plants provide to human beings. On the picture, you can see a delicious food. There's a delicious food on the picture there. What I would like you to do, you see that picture? We are going to do an example. Before we get to the picture there, we will be doing something to that picture today, an activity with that picture. Okay, before you do that picture, I would like you to see this. Next one. Sorry, okay. You are going to list down how the food in the picture are related to the plant. Now let's see that picture again. Okay, look at that picture. What type of plant can you see in that picture? What type of plant can you see in that picture? Anybody receiving students? Tell your teacher, what type of food can you see in that picture? Okay, we are going to hear from Helen, Victoria, and Rudolph. Helen, what can you see in that picture? Our, probably lunch. Name a plant that you can see in there. Onion. Onion. Yeah. Onion. Spring onion. Onion. Spring onion. Good. Rudolph or oh, Victoria. Carrot. Carrot. Carrot is one of the plants that you can see in the picture. Carrot and Rudolph. Rice. Yeah, rice. Rice is also another plant that you can see in the picture. You can see onion, carrot, rice. And what else can you see on the picture? What other animals can you see on the picture there? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Chicken. Chicken, what else? Okay, Caro. Broccoli. Broccoli. 
broccoli 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 good you can see broccoli there and what else the one with the orange tail there that's the one with the orange tail receiving students aha very smart okay let's see uh, what the receiving class will say yes laka prawn right we can see prawn prawn there there is a prawn there okay very good now these are all mixtures of plants and animals available on the picture that you just saw we have onion there onion onion where do, where do we get that from what part of the plant receiving students class very good okay we get that from the roots how about carrot carrots we also get that part from the roots and rice rice where do we get rice from which part of the plant the leaves the seeds the what the seeds chicken how does chicken get that help from the plant receiving students how do you think chicken gets a help from the plant class by How does it get help from the plant itself, from a particular plant? Lorraine. Food. By, by eating food, uh, which food? What food does chicken eat? Rice. Okay, rice. Chicken eats rice. And of course, other, uh, yes, receiving students, what else? Very good. Okay, coconut scrapes. It eats rice. And rice is a plant that the chicken eats. Okay, so the chicken eats rice there. Now, receiving students in class, I would like you to list down. This time you're going to list down how the food in the picture are related to a plant. Remember the, the one that we just did on the chicken? Chicken eats rice. And quite similar to this, you are going to be naming these foods now. Right, you're going to list down how the food in the picture are related to a plant. Those are the food there in the picture. You will do a similar example to the one that we did. This time you're going to list down how those food are related to a plant.
All right, receiving students and class, let us quickly look at what we have. Now we'll hear from Antonia. Antonia is going to say how one of those fruit is related to the plant. Apple comes from plants. Apple. Apple comes from plants. a plant. And what is the apple part of? What part of the plant is the apple? Fruits. Very good. OK. Apple comes from plants, and the part of the apple is the fruits. Right. Let's hear from uh, Luis. Carrot. Carrots. Right. What part of the plant is the carrot? Roots. OK. Carrot is the food, and a part of it is provides food. It comes from the root part. Elizabeth. Thank you, Louise. Air comes out from the chicken. Air comes out from the chicken, and chicken is the rice. Very good. Egg, co egg comes from a chicken, and chicken eats grass. Right, Christopher, the last one. Beef comes under cow, and cow eats grass. OK, very good. Beef, very good. Beef comes from cow, and cow eats grass. OK, receiving students, I hope you got similar answers to what the model class have come up with. Right, let us see. Beef comes from cows that feed on grass. We have broccoli is kind of a flower. Broccoli is kind of a flower. Carrots are roots, as said by Luis. Apples are fruits. As said by Antonia, eggs are laid by hens that feed on wheat or rice. Rice grains there comes from rice plants. Now those are some of the things that all those are some important things which plants give to us. They give us food. Apart from food, plants also give us everyone. Very good, receiving students and class, they give us, plants give us, apart from food, plants give us oxygen. Plants gives us oxygen. Okay, our summary point for today, Plants are important source of food for animals. Write it down very quickly. And the next one. Plants make oxygen which animals breathe in order to survive. Plants make oxygen which animals breathe in order to survive. <coughs> All right, receiving students and class, by now you, sh you should finish copying down your summary notes. Let us see our keyword for today. What's the keyword? What have we been talking about? Class and receiving students? 
very good receiving students and class. We have been talking about plants. Our next lesson will be on the top end and materials needed for the next lesson. We have live plant, shoot of a plant, hand lenses. With that, with that, thank you very much class and receiving students and have a nice day.